right, here we have Dragonfire from Denise. And at its heart, Dragonfire is a compressor, but it's more than just a standard, uh, standard style uh, compressor. This is what they call a tonal compressor or tonal compression. And in a way, it's several different kinds of compressors all in one. So let's go ahead and check out how, uh, how to use it here. It's actually, uh, actually pretty easy to use. We'll start with this sample that we already heard at, uh, at the beginning. Start with this uh, Dragonfire bypass here. All right, you pull Dragonfire back in just uh, so you can hear what uh, we did with it. So really bringing out the attack and the hits uh, on those drums, especially up here at the top end. So this here is your push-pull graph. One cool thing you can do, by the way, I can uh, drag a selection over all of those, double click, and it resets the entire graph. I can also, let me click off there, I can also double click any single node to reset uh, those to their defaults as well. So this graph, in a way, it's almost like, uh, maybe you've done this, you take an EQ before your compressor, and you can drive certain frequencies into the compressor harder so it hits the compressor in a different way. So in a way, that's, that's what our push-pull graph is, uh, is right here. So let me uh, pull up this top end. I'll take this pull all the way down for now. Let's go to solo, and I can actually click any of these nodes to solo that band. I'm gonna push this harder into the compressor for more snap and more attack. If it gets a little muddy, I can pull some out. We can also change the type that each of these nodes are. So this here is on peak right now. Come up here, you can change this to a high shelf, low shelf, etc. Just pull this back down, pull a little bit down here with our low shelf. As you can see, just click and drag. I can also use my mouse wheel to change the Q or the width of that band or adjust that right up here. Just click and drag on the numbers, just like that. Make that a little bit wider. I want this to rumble a bit more, but on the ultra low, I'm pulling some of that out from hitting that compressor. So again, it's sort of like an EQ pushing into a compressor, sort of like that. Of course, you have all of your standard controls that any other compressor is going to have, your threshold, your ratio, your attack, and your release. You also have a high pass and a low pass here as well. With our drive, you can make it more saturated, especially these parts that are being pushed further into the compressor. Just adjust that overall saturation with that slider. Just our threshold here or right here. Let's go ahead and compress that. bypassed. Now that's a little bit much on that overall boost that we have here, especially on the top end. And that's where the pull down here comes into play. So while we push more of this frequency into the compressor, we can then pull back on the resulting boost of that frequency uh, from being added in to the output. But we're still pushing more of this frequency into the compressor. So the compressor is going to react differently uh, than if we just had this flat, if that makes any sense, right? Just the uh, push-pull technique, it's, it's very easy to do here with Dragonfire. You can just boost things way up. The compressor is going to react a certain way. Then you can pull out the resulting, uh, again, think of it as an EQ control. You can pull out the resulting boost that that would give you, okay? But the compressor is still going to react as if uh, we're at uh, 3.5K as if we're pushing an extra 14 dB at 3.5K into the compressor, all right? So let's pull some of that out. That's pretty good right there. Then we have our curve, RMS and knee. And again, this is really how you can go from vintage sounds to modern sounds. It's different styles of a release curve different styles of compression, and of course, a softer or harder knee. So with your curve, you're basically adjusting, say, your release curve from like a slow opto style to a faster VCA style release curve. Again, different kinds of compressors use different kinds of uh, uh, curves. 
Then our RMS, we can go from a peak compression, which I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with peak compression as, as your peak goes over the threshold, it's gonna get compressed down. You can slide seamlessly in between, uh, in between peak compression and RMS compression. And RMS compression is gonna be more like um, you know, reducing the signal uh, for, for the average level of the, uh, the total signal instead of just the, uh, just the peaks. So it's a little bit of a different kind of compression. And of course your knee, a harder knee or a, a softer, more rounder knee. In this case, since th these are drums, I really want more of a peak compression. And for the curve, we'll go a little bit up here. And then down here we have a clip and a gain. So right now we can have the clip going to the gain or the gain running into the clip. Uh, basically to get even more uh, saturation and dirtiness. So with your clipper, you can literally just clip things off wherever you want. So I'm really clipping that off. And then I can pull more gain in here to compensate. Or we can do it the other way around. Just click that right there. Double click to set that back to uh, zero. Do the same thing here. Now we're gonna clip it off but then we're gonna take the gain up and run it into the clipper. So for this sample, probably not what you want, but try it on a snare, try it on some bass if you want to really get some saturation uh, into that. Double click that, switch this back around. Let's set this up so it sounds. So I'm gonna clip it off a little bit and compensate here with our gain. Now up here on the top end, I might wanna pull a little more of that in too. Pull that up. You can shape your sound using this tonal compression. And again, it's almost like EQ and compression all, uh, all in one here. So we've really changed the sound of this. Let me bypass it. So it sounds good already, but it's a little bit dull. It's not hitting as hard as I want. So here with just Dragonfire, no EQ, nothing like that. Doing it all here with uh, the Dragonfire tonal compressor. Turn it into this really hard hitting uh, cinematic drum track. Okay, so you also have a side chain, which I'm not going to go into. Depends on how your DAW works, but I can always use a uh, you know a different source to drive the uh, compressor. And this is a random, so just click that and you can get some random uh, shapes here in your graph. Of course, you're gonna have some presets in here too. A lot of stuff for bass, guitars, kicks, room snares, and even vocals. So that's basically the entire interface and how it works. I'll also link uh, in the description below to the, of course, to the, uh, Denise site where you can find more in-depth detail into each and every uh, uh, one of these parameters. But let's move on to a few more samples here to see how this sounds on some other uh, other sources. So here again, we have an orchestra. We we'll bypass it for right now. Go ahead and turn on Dragon Fire. And again, we're bringing in some more attack up here. We're pulling it back some, bringing in some low end, getting rid of some mud right here in this area, driving it a bit, a little more saturation. And then we get this. What about on some drums here? Now, in this case, I've split these drums out into a uh, individual uh, kick, snare, and toms here. So let me just take this off solo. Start here with our kick. Bypass that for now. You can start with a preset if you want to. There's plenty of presets for your kick, but let's go ahead and pop this back on. and bringing in more snap up here. 
Then on our snare, open this one up, starting out with the snare smack preset and then adjusting it a little bit. So that's just the snare with uh, Dragonfire Bypassed. Pull it in. Really adds that smack. You can go to solo, adding some body here, cutting a little bit of this area out. Even more of those snares and snap up here. Let's go to our toms. All right, bring on Dragonfire. Again, more powerful, bringing in more attack, a little bit of this low end we're pulling out, a little more low end here pulling in. Of course, we can adjust this size of this uh, interface to see a little better. Comes through much better now. Again, bypassed. They kind of feel like they're in the background a bit. Of course, you can do this on a full drum mix as well, and then just dial into those areas since we do have this uh, this graph here. Bring it back on. Much better. So then put all of that together here. Pull all of these back on. We start with this bypass, it's gonna bypass all of the dragon fires. All right, good raw sounding mix. Let's pull our dragon fires all back on. Much better. course use it on any kind of source that you want even vocals so we'll round out this video with uh, this last sample and I also have perfect room which is another uh, Denise plug and this is a reverb I'll uh, bypass both of these for now you're all I need I wish to be deep in your love I can't get enough but if I really want this to cut through a mix I can really compress this down and even everything out and then pull up that overall level with my gain and also clip it off here, which is what we're doing here. You're all I need, I wish to be. And then combine that with perfect room and we get this. You're all I need, I wish to be. Deep in your love, I can't get enough. Why don't you run to me? I crave your company, can't stay away from you. There's nothing I won't do. All right, so that is Dragonfire. Tonal compression made easy with that push-pull graph. Again, it's almost like running an EQ into a compressor and then cutting out those frequencies later on, but all within this one plugin. Of course, your different curves, your RMS and your knee, so you can get different styles of compression uh, all within this one compressor. So if you want to check it out, course head over to this site here it will be in the uh, description below you can also pick it up at plugin boutique as well i'll have links for both of those in the description below a bunch of other videos on here uh, a bunch of different uh, tutorial style videos on here as well that walk you through each and every detail of this pretty cool new tonal compressor plugin so head over there to denise.io and check out dragon fire